Neonicotinoids are the most widely used insecticide in the world. We know that they have negative effects on bees' health, from growth disorders, reduced efficiency in the immune system, to limiting the lifespan of the queen bee. It's been difficult to pin down sweeping effects on bee populations, but now researchers have found more evidence for another way neonics affect bees, by contaminating their honey. 198 honey samples from around the world were collected through a citizen science project. 75% of the samples tested positive for neonicotinoids. Contamination was prevalent all over the world. This confirms that bees are exposed to neonics in their food. Researchers say the contamination is too low to hurt humans consuming the honey, but that a significantly detrimental effect on bees is likely. What's more, 45% of honey samples showed contamination from multiple types of neonics. The combined effects of these pesticides on bees is just starting to be explored. This global picture of neonicotinoid contamination should be useful to policymakers who are considering the risks and benefits of using the pesticides. Researchers hope these findings will persuade authorities to make publicly available data on neonic usage. Then correlative studies can be conducted to determine the relationship between the use of these pesticides and the current decline of global bee populations.